Hey, what's up, YouTube? Uh, man, so let me tell you. Um, God, like it's hot. It's in Vegas, and it's it's getting cooler. So I'm telling you, but uh, anyway. But um, what I want to talk about is setting goals. It's very important to set goals, and the reason why it's important to set goals is because we have to give ourselves a purpose of. In order, we have to give ourselves some type of purpose um, to be successful in this life. We have to give ourselves goals in order to um, give us something to fight for. And when I say give us something to fight for, um, I mean that with everything that we do. Um, it just kills me how, you know, the generation today and, and you know, people my age, they have, they have nothing going for themselves. They have absolutely nothing going for themselves. And it, it does shock me how, um, you know, people are comfortable with that. My journey through Penn Foster, I'm so thankful that, you know, someone created something like that. Um, the reason why I say that is because, you know, my, my struggle that I went through with, you know, with high school, as far as graduating and then being told, I'm sorry, you have we have to take classes back because you had already done them at a previous school. That was definitely a letdown. Anyone, I believe, um, if they're not strong enough, uh, would have probably given up. If there are people in your life that do not benefit you, get rid of them. Remove them from your circle. Set a goal for yourself whatever it is that you want you literally can achieve it the problem is is that it's going to be hell trying to get to it it's going to be a lot of work um, and a lot of struggle a lot of mental focus and a lot of believing in yourself when someone else don't when the whole world does not believe in you you have to believe in yourself I say this because there are people to this day that are doubting me that I can't do what it is that I've set for myself, a goal that I've set for myself, people believe that I can't do. When I wanted to become a certified nursing assistant, people say, oh, you don't want to do that. Everybody loves to talk you out of things. They want to tell you the bad stuff about the job and the bad stuff about it, but not looking at the fact that it's, it's job security. It's a start position of, and I'm not saying, oh, you can't become a millionaire on a CNA job. You can't. You really can't. But hell, I don't, I, actually, I can't even say that because if you budget enough and if you save enough, hell, you might be able to become a millionaire as a CNA. I don't know. But the thing is, people were telling me not to do it and they were CNAs themselves. But they want to tell me not to do it because they don't like the job. But yet, I'm a CNA and I'm making way more than the people that were telling me that had been in this job 19, 20, 27 years. I make more than them at 27 um, than I could have thought as a CNA. But at the same time, I had to work smarter, not harder. In the beginning, I was working so hard and I was not thinking on a different level, but I got to that point and I started thinking differently. Now I'm at the point of I want to do what I want to do. I want to do something that I love to do, which is music. I told myself I'm going to go to Full Sail University. My goal was to go to Full Sail University. People told me, man, that school's expensive. You don't want to do that, man. I thought, but man, you can go anywhere else cheaper. Why do you want to go to Full Sail? These are people that haven't even graduated high school. Then I start realizing, stop telling people my goals because the people that are friends of mine, that are family of mine, that are colleagues of mine, whatever you want to call it, associates, you look for the support and they don't have it. They told me I couldn't do it. I told myself I'm going to go to the school, I'm going to do it. I did it. I, I applied. I got in. I've been passing ever since graduate next month. I'm going to continue classes on until November. So when I come back, I'll be taking on another degree. The reason why I say don't tell your friends
friends in New Orleans because if you have true friends, they will support you. I've had two that have told me you can do it. That's nice. I'm glad. I'm happy for you. You're finally doing something you want to do. Then something else new came into my life. Into my mind, into my life. And I say this because I had never thought about being a physical therapist. I said, okay. I'm sorry. Physical therapist assistant. After I start researching it, I said, you know what? I'm going to check it out. And I did. Then I got obsessed with it. First mistake I made was the person that told me about it told someone else. Her friends, very supportive. My side, oh, he can't do it. He'll fail. I have four general education classes that I need to complete. My general eds are all done. When I do go to school coming next year, it's nothing but core classes. Who can say that? That they're going into the school doing complete core classes and the general labs are completed. I can say that. With the help of Full Sail University and me completing my courses there, that actually helped me. Who can say at 28 years old, I will be 29 at that time when I finish that course. When I finish that course, who can say at 28, 29 that they they have two high school diplomas and two degrees before they even turn 30? To have a career in which will take me to new heights. When you find a job versus a career, they're they're so different. A job is, in my opinion, two things. One, it keeps you limited on pay. It keeps you limited for your life as far as how you, what you're able to spend, what your means are as far as living, what your wants versus your needs. Certain things you have to cipher down and eliminate and come to the terms of, I might not never be able to do this because of the job that I have. It feels like a job. You go and you do what you need to do, you go home. A career. Career is something that you love to do and it doesn't get tiring to you. The pay for yourself allows you to put yourself exactly where you need to be as far as what you want, living arrangement style, what you want as far as your car, what you want to provide to your family and the means of being able to do that without living paycheck to paycheck, without worrying about struggling and you love what you do to the very end. It gives you a certain click in your mind when you are doing your career, you do it to the very best of your ability and you will die trying to leave a mark on whatever it is that you've chosen as a career path. Do not let anyone, do not let anyone deter you from your path. If they do not support you, get rid of them, delete them. from you so it doesn't work I am so thankful that now at 27 I can say that I've done this and I've done that by myself there were predicaments in my lifetime in which I had to struggle but I, I don't regret those struggles because it made me the guy that I am today I am thankful for the struggle that I went through because it gave me such a determination, such a, a, <laughs> and it gave me the ability not to give up and it gave me the ability to understand the things that are around me, to understand and look at the world completely different. And I get it. I am successful today and I am going to continue to be successful tomorrow and until the day my time here on this is gone. But I'm thankful that I was able to listen to the things in the earth around me to give me a sense of direction. You need to apply that to yourself. Do not give up whatever it is that you want to be. You can do that. If no one believes in you, believe in yourself. I say that because people suck. 
yourself suck. You will learn in your lifetime that there are going to be many battles that you have to face and people that you thought were in your corner are not in your corner. That's okay. Because you have to be able to believe in yourself to get you where you need to be to equip yourself for that battle. You will become successful in life and people are going to be jealous. People, friends are no longer going to be your friends. People are going to talk about you and people are going to associate themselves with you still, but still talk shit about you behind your back. You need to learn how to believe them. You've done that and you understand your worth, you understand your meaning, your purpose of being here on earth purpose for what you want in your life the rest is history believe in yourself when the world looks at you and the odds look like they're stacking up so high believe in yourself and you can take it down and you can face those challenges in which you have no matter what happens and through your journey and through your path and to get that off my chest Please like and subscribe, comment below. Inshallah, until I see you again, I will see you in the next upload. Thank you guys so much for subscribing to my channel, for the guys that are new, for the women that are new. Come with me and experience a journey with me through being a CNA, going through Full Sail University, enrolling in CSN, and transitioning into Concord University, I'm sorry, Concord Career College in San Diego, California to become a physical therapist assistant. I'll see you there. So, thank you. Please like and subscribe and comment below. Thanks. Bye.